going to be using a Bernard baby blanket. It is 100% polyester, machine washable and dryable. It is a super chunky yarn, size 6. And here it says size 8 millimeters crochet hook. And if we turn it over here, you will see that the color is a confetti color, part of the Little Critters collection. But here it tells me that size 9 is what they recommend. So I'm going to go with size 9 and this is my crochet hook. For a larger blanket you're going to need two. Let's start by making a slip knot. To make a slip knot take your two fingers, give yourself a bit of a tail and wrap it around like so. Cross it in the back and take this part and tuck it through. That creates a little loop right there. And then you take your crochet hook and you stick it in that loop. Remove your hands and gently give it a pull on both of them. Now you're ready to begin. So we always hold our tightness here and we don't want it too tight. So let's pick up our yarn and let's begin by chaining. To make chain you yarn over and you pull it through the loop. So that would be one, two. For a smaller blanket, chain 50. If you would like a larger blanket and use two skeins of um, yarn, then chain 60. Um, you can use it either if that as your length or your width. So I've chained 50, I'm using it as a length, and now it's time to turn around. Turn around, and uh, the stitch we're using is a double crochet. So we have to find our four chain from the hook. So we don't count this one because this is on the hook. So we go one, two, three, four. So right in here is where we want to crochet. To do a double crochet, we yarn over, insert our crochet hook into the loop, yarn over, pull through. You should have three loops on. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through the remaining two. Notice how I'm always holding tension here. You always hold in the bottom because then you have that full control. Okay, so now we go into every space along our chain. Okay, so into the next one, we do a double crochet. Yarn over, insert a crochet hook, yarn over, pull through, three on, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And that is a double crochet and we keep doing that under into every single space that we have. Okay, so yarning over into the next chain space, pulling through, yarning over, pulling through two, yarning over, pulling through two. So keep doing this until you get to the end. As you're doing this, you notice the chain kind of turns on you. Always make sure that it's the right way. Okay, so you want to do this straight. And the reason we chose this stitch is because this stitch is very easy to do. You don't have to worry about fancy texturing. And uh, it creates a nice little texture because of its different color and with the bulky yarn. So it'll look just perfect. So I've come to the end. You see I have one more to do right there. So I'm just going to finish this. There we go. I'm just going to pull that a bit tight. When you get to the end of the row, you're going to turn your work around like this and you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to put our double crochet into every V stitch. And if you look at this top of it, you see there's a hole right in there. We don't go in here. We go underneath the two. So right there, this is where we go under. And we never go into the first one because if you can see this first V, it's occupied by our chain three, which counts as a stitch. So we always go into the second one right there. Okay, so let's do our double crochet under the V. Okay, so we want to put our double crochet in. And on to the next one. So keep doing that all the way till you get to the end of the row and I'll show you how to finish it. Okay, so under the V, every single one till you get to the end. I've come to the end of the row and you're going to do this at each row. So you can see I have one more stitch here, that's my V here. 
I'm going to put my one stitch here. Okay, so now if you look at it, you will think it's done, but it's really not. So this was our turnaround. Remember when we inserted into the four chain from the hook that created a little loop. Now we have to finish that by inserting and doing a double crochet right in the very top of the loop. So try to go in there and uh, do your double crochet. So now if you look at it, you see it's straight. So the next row, it's a repeating pattern until we reach our desired height. So we turned our work around, we chain three, two, three, and then we put it in, not into the first, into the second. So right in here, where we put our first double crochet, and after that under every V, all the way to the end of the row, at the end of the row, you want to find your chain three and always on the top loop underneath the V. So you find two, just try to get in there. Uh, something's hard to see, but you need to get that little loop done. So put in your double crochet in there and then kind of pulls it up. Uh, yeah, and just finish your stitch. So keep doing this until you reach your desired height. So if you want to continue and make a bigger blanket, how you simply join yarn. So join the yards. I turn my work over and I am simply going to, I'm not going to cut this one yet. I'm just going to take my new yarn, which is right here, and I'm going to pinch an eye like this. I'll put my hook in and feed it through. So now I'm going to take my tail end and my yarn and I'm going to yarn over and pull through. Okay, now I'm hooked on and I am ready to crochet. Now I can go ahead and I can cut my old yarn. Okay. So we're going to go back and we're going to weave that in later. Okay, whatever you find easier. So I'm just going to chain one. That's all at this point because we did all the hooking on and connecting so we have enough. Now the easiest way to weave in, as some people find, is just letting your little tail end dangle. And then when you do your stitch, you just put it right on top. Okay, so a lot of people find that easier. If you don't, just let it go behind your two ends and we can crochet them in after the word, after we finish. There you go. Now you can just crochet until you reach your desired length or width or whatever you're doing. <laughs> I've reached my desired width and now it's time to finish the work. Let's start by cutting the yarn. Make sure you give yourself a tail. And then we just yarn over and pull through. All the way and tighten. Okay, and now we have to deal in with all these loose ends because we're done a project. So the way to I handle the loose ends is I just go in here. Now first of all, if you have a smaller crochet hook, use it. If not, this one will do. But I have a slightly smaller crochet hook, so it just makes it easier. I just pull it through here. And I like to pull it through here, both of these. Like that. Then I'll take it again on this side. And pull it through. Yeah, kind of hook it up. I'll probably go here down here and um, when you're finished and you think you're good I'll show you how to finish it uh, the important thing is you want to go down and then kind of work your way up again so this way it doesn't come loose and you're going to do this for all the loose ends on either both sides just like going through one Okay, so now when you're ready and you think you have enough, this time I'm going to go over through two. I'm going to yarn over, pull through, 
And now we just kind of pull it a little bit. And we cut the yarn. And then we stretch it, it disappears. So you want to do that to all the loose ends. This one here, this one on the other side. 